I'm Rob and this is the Retro Gun X VR Review by Barefoot Gaming. So this is a blast from the past, definitely themed from the old 8-bit arcade games. So you'll see things like Space Invaders, Galaxian, Millipede, Paratrooper, and even things like Super Mario Brothers will kind of make a little bit of an appearance with their jumping fish and the star that comes around and tries to kill you. Speaking of coming around, that's something else I should point out, is stuff comes at you from a full 360, not everything. For example, when the centipede type creature comes, and I know they can't call it centipede, this is not licensed by Namco, it's not licensed by anyone. So even though they might look like space invaders, clearly Tato did not authorize the use of this. They just kind of look like space invaders is what he's going for. So it's not bang on, it's just got that feel to it. There are 22 waves currently, but the plans are that there's going to be 60 in total, and that's straight from the developer. Speaking of the developer, I know when I had an issue right off the bat, I reached out and I said, hey, I'm having an issue getting credits when I die, and he put a patch out, and boom, everything was fixed right off the bat. So he's somebody that is definitely really invested in this, and this is something that's clearly very dear to his heart. Depending how far ahead you get, when you die, you'll get more and more credits. You use those credits to unlock things like machine guns, rocket launchers, and again, the developer has said, I believe the next one coming out is a bubble type weapon, kind of in the vein of bubble bobble. I think it shoots something fire-based, but that's not there yet. And I don't really want to get ahead of where we're at. We're going to review this game where it's sitting right now. So I'm going to classify this as a wave shooter, but it stands out from the rest. What it does is in the first wave, you'll fight the space invaders type guys. In the second wave, maybe it'll be the centipede guys, but it's always totally different. So every wave will have a very different feel to it. And over on top of the regular bad guys, you also have bosses. And right now, I believe they come about every 10 levels or 11 levels or so. First boss, for example, is a large helicopter that has a bunch of missiles and you just got to take it out. Again, think like you're playing an arcade game and that's how you beat these things. So I've touched on pretty much everything that you do in the game. It's just a bunch of 8-bit arcade style enemies coming at you. You clear them off, you move to the next level, you clear them off, you move to the next level. It's 360. It supports some level of room scale so you can move around to try to not get hit by the bullets that are flying at you or shots or whatever it is that's coming at you. And let's get to the actual review. Something I have to mention is this game is $12.99 Canadian. So out of five cigarette stained smoked up 80s arcade cabinets, I would give this a three out of five. My logic behind that is every wave really is different. This thing has a different feel for every different enemy type. And I like that. So it's not like they're just variations of Centipede or variations of the Space Invaders or variations of any of the enemies that come. They all feel really different. The reason I don't give it higher is because some of the enemies feel a little bit less interesting than others. I'm always so torn when I'm doing these reviews because I like the developer. I know that right off the bat and it is a fun game. But when you measure it up against the Space Pirate Trainers or you measure it up against some of the other games that have been out there a little bit longer, it's hard to give this higher than a 3. 3 is not a bad score. This is a good score for this game. And as I mentioned before, there is more and more stuff coming onto this. So if you play this game in 3 months time, 6 months time, I expect it will get better and better and better. Like I said, the developer is very active and I think it's super exciting what he's doing with this. And that's it. That's the review. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. We keep pushing these things out. You won't know when they're coming unless you are a subscribe member. Other than that, we're out of here. Talk to you later. See ya.